The U.S. Citizenship Test assesses a naturalization applicant's knowledge of U.S. government, history, and geography. The exam is given verbally during the U.S. Citizenship Interview. There are 100 questions in the Citizenship Test. During the interview, the immigration officer will ask the applicant 10 questions out of the 100, and the applicant must answer 6 correctly in order to pass the civics test. In this video you will find all 100 questions and correct answers for the civics test. The questions are organized into the following categories. American Government American History Integrated Civics Easy to learn and remember. Boundless tip. If you are 65 years or older and have been a green card holder for 20 or more years, you only need to study the questions marked with an asterisk. Group 1. American Government. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Who makes federal laws? Congress. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C., or the territory where they live, has no Senators. We elect a president for how many years? Four. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. In what month do we vote for president? November. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president.
What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, Liberty What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution Who vetoes bills? The President The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people Name one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen. Obey the laws of the United States. Who signs bills to become laws? The President Name one power of the federal government To print money What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government Name one branch or part of the government. Congress What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court What age do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts Name your U.S. representative. The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where they live has no House representatives. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President
What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What date is the last day you can submit federal income tax forms? The date is typically on or around April 15th. Name two major political parties in the United States. Democratic and Republican. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party Name one power of the states Provide schooling and education Name two cabinet-level positions Secretary of Defense Secretary of Education What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Patrick McHenry What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris What is the capital of your state? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. isn't a state and therefore doesn't have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories must name the capital of their territory. Name one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens. Serve on a jury. When must all men register for the selective service? At 18. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. doesn't have a governor. Name two ways that U.S. citizens can participate in their democracy. Vote. Join a political party. Name two rights of everyone living in the U.S. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Describe one of the four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election.
Group 2. American History. Name one reason colonists came to America. Freedom. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Name one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did. Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation. Name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. James Madison. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. Who was the first president? George Washington. Name three of the 13 original states. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Name one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for. U.S. Diplomat When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776 Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery When was the Constitution written? 1787 What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the U.S.? Terrorists attacked the United States. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism Who is considered the father of our country? George Washington Which group of people was taken to the U.S. and sold as slaves? Africans What happened at the Constitutional Convention? 
The Constitution was written. Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1800s. Civil War What did Martin Luther King, Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Name one Native American tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Group 3. Integrated Civics. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner.
Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. Name one U.S. territory. Guam. Name two national U.S. holidays. President's Day, Independence Day. What ocean is on the west coast of the U.S.? Pacific Ocean.